This is for the ecclesia. This is for the, the body of believers, those who are going to be followers of Christ. All of this was put in here as a warning to keep you from making the same mistakes. So what's the warning that Paul tells us? Let's go and look at it. Exodus 13. Paul's talking about uh, making sure that we don't make these same mistakes. So what are the mistakes they're making? They're in Sukkoth, and they are going up to Etham, and the Lord is leading them to the promised land. How is he leading them? In the day, he's putting this cloud in front of them. He's giving them this huge cloud to follow. I mean, it, it would be stunning to see that, but then at night, if they still want to travel, he puts up a pillar of fire, so imagine this. You are always wanting God to give you a sign. What if that sign was, God, I'm looking for some direction. You walk outside and there's a pillar of fire to lead you to the promised land. I mean, would you need anything else? That, that would be like, okay, God, I get it now. I understand. But what happens? Exodus 16. They've been traveling for two months. So they've had this sign for two months. That's how long it took them to start to complain. They start to grumble. The ecclesia, the church started to grumble and complain after having this. And they told Moses and Aaron, if only we had died by the Lord's hand in Egypt. Basically what they're saying is, you know what? I wish we were back there where we were in slavery and it was terrible. It's better than this. That's what they're saying. And we always kind of say we want a sign from God. Well, here we go. Here's a sign from God. Surely it would be enough. And no, it wasn't. The people got hangry. <laughs> they're hungry and they're angry. Hangry.